Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn how to run our Gatling tests from command line and we are going to use Maven and I will start from scratch. We will learn how to set up the Maven project. We will learn how to run the Maven commands and we will see all the commands and all the options. We will also see how to run a specific test from command line and how to run multiple tests from command line. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and you can follow this on Windows or Mac operating systems and I will have all the notes in the description of this video. So let's get started and let us see step number one. We will open command line and then we will uh, cd or change the directory to the folder where we want to create our project. Now I am showing all the steps from scratch. I am going to create a new Maven project and show you everything from scratch so that it helps everyone. Just in case you already have your Gatling project set up, I will show you how you can add the Maven plugin and then how you can run the commands. So for now, let me go and uh, let me see where I want to create the project. So I will go on my D drive. Uh, and here I have a folder called projects. I keep all my projects here. So I'm just going here and I have a Gatling folder as well. You can create this folder anywhere or you can have any name and anywhere you can have this folder and I want to create a project here. So I will just go to this location and go to my command prompt. Now if you are on Mac, you can go to terminal and first I will cd or change directory to this location that is my D projects 2022 Gatling. Now because this is on D drive and my command prompt is by default on C drive so first I will change the drive I will say D colon and hit enter and now I am on D drive now I will say cd cd is for change directory and I will copy the address or the path of the folder and hit enter and now I am on this folder. Now if you are on Windows, a uh, shortcut to this is you can just go to the folder and then go to this address bar here and here say cmd and hit enter and it will open the command line on the same folder. So you can see it has opened it here. So this is a shortcut for Windows. Now I am here. I am on my command line and I have gone to this project folder or this folder where I want to create a project folder. The first thing is we will check the prerequisites. Now I had already created another video for all the prerequisites and setup earlier but let us uh, check here. We need Java so I will say Java space hyphen version and check if Java is there and yes Java is there. I have Java 8 it can be Java 11 or other. You can check what are the compatible versions. Now I will check Maven so I will say MVN space hyphen version and in my case maven is already there now just in case you do not have maven or you do you do not get this address uh, these messages here you can always go to my website that is automation step by step dot com and here if you scroll down you will go to so here is a uh, playlist for java where you will get all the videos on how to install and set up java and then here under the build tools we have a Maven playlist. This will take you to my YouTube playlist on Maven and here I have videos on how to install Maven on Windows and how to install Maven on Mac operating system. So just in case you do not have Maven, you can watch these videos. So in my case, I have Maven and Java both. Now I will check if Scala is already present. So I will say Scala space hyphen version and I have Scala SDK also added on my system. Now all this I have discussed in detail in the earlier session in the initial session of this playlist where we discussed about all the prerequisites. So just in case if you find any issues in getting any of these prerequisites you can always watch the earlier session. Now we will do the Maven project setup. So I will run the command mvn archetype generate. So let me clear or I will say cls and now I will say mvn archetype colon generate and hit enter and here it will scan and give me the options and you can see I am getting the option choose a number or apply filter now there are a lot of options I will have to search from here so the best thing is I will just apply the filter and I will say get link and this I have mentioned here as well choose a number number or apply filter just say Gatling here so I will say Gatling 
and let us see if it filters out something and yes you can see we have got a single option that is the Gatling high charts uh, Maven archetype and this is what we will need and this is at number one so th this is what I need I will just select I'll just say number one here and hit enter so this is the archetype and now I have to select the version of Gatling as of this time as of the time of recording this video the latest version is 3.6.1 which is at number 42 this is what I will get the latest version as of this time and hit enter and now after this after selecting the version we have to provide the group ID and artifact ID now group ID you can uh, give some name that you want to give to your package name so I can say com dot uh, let's say perf dot tests because all these will be performance tests so you can give some name like this and artifact ID will be the name of your project so you can give some a name whatever you want to keep your project name so I will say Gatling demo project and hit enter and here if you want to give some version number you can give otherwise just press enter and here also I will just press enter and now you can see these are our details group ID artifact ID version and package and I will say everything is fine I will say why and hit enter and this is done if I now go back to my folder you can see Gatling demo project is created here and if I go inside we have a SRC folder and a pom.xml under SRC we have tests and resources and scalar all these so for now I will open this project in my IDE so we have done these three steps these are all the environment setup and project setup and now step number four is open this project in IDE so we are uh, using IntelliJ I will open my IntelliJ IDE and here I will go to file and say open and I will browse the project which is this getting demo project and I will select the pom.xml file and say ok and I will say open as project I will say trust this and let me just open in this window so this opens our project here and here you can see the project structure we have SRC folder we have test uh, we have resources folder where we have the Gatling dot configuration file then under scala folder we have uh, engine class ID path helper and recorder class and then we have our pom.xml so let us first check our pom.xml and here you can see this is our project information and project name and then we have these properties where we have the maven compiler versions and then we have the configuration for gatling version and we also have gatling maven plugin version this will be important for running from command line and i will show you this in a moment and if i go to the dependencies section so you can see these are the dependencies which it has already added Gatling charts high charts and Gatling app and then we have Gatling recorder and all these are using the Gatling version which is mentioned here that is the latest as of now 3.6.1 so this is our pom.xml and we also have this uh, build section where we have the Gatling maven plugin and the Gatling Maven plugin version here okay so this is how our pom.xml looks like so we have already checked our project structure and pom.xml and now we will need the Maven dependencies Gatling charts high charts is already added and then we also need the Gatling Maven plugin dependency so I will go to I can just go to uh, mavenrepository.com and from here this is mvnrepository.com I will just search for Gatling Maven plugin and let me just search for Gatling yes it is here Gatling Maven plugin I will go here and I can go to any of the versions and copy this now I am not going to use the version which is hard coded here I will use the version which is mentioned in my pom.xml file so I will just copy the dependency from here and I'll just add this in the dependencies section and I will remove this hard coded version and I will say dollar and within curly brackets I will mention the version which is mentioned here 
Gatling Maven plugin version. So I'll just copy this. So this is important because sometimes there can be compatibility issues between the Gatling version and the Gatling Maven plugin version. So it's better whatever is mentioned here. I'll just use that here and save your project. Make sure that you save after making any changes so that all the dependencies will get added. And now you can either check the dependencies in the external libraries here or otherwise you can open the Maven window in IntelliJ. You can go to view and tool windows and here view tool windows and I will select Maven and you can see it gives us the Maven window and here I can also check the dependencies. So we have this Gatling high charts app and recorder. It does not show the Gatling Maven plugin. So I will click on refresh and it should show the Gatling Maven plugin and yes it is here and can also you can also see all the further dependencies for these uh, dependencies everything is here so we are now ready with our project we have also added all the required dependencies now uh, in case the scala and resources folder are not already marked we will have to mark them so here if you see your scala folder and the resources folder if you see icons like this it is a green colored folder icon and this is an icon like this this is fine but just in case you do not find this you can always do a right click on scala folder and say mark directory as and mark it as test uh, resources root so that we will know that all the tests are in this folder and for the resources again you can do a right click and say mark directory as and this will be resources root as of now it is not required because it is already marked and now uh, so this we have already done we have already seen how to mark these as test sources root and test resources root now step number six is we will check if the scala plugin is added in our ide so for that we will go to file settings plugins i will go to file and settings and here i will go to plugins and let us check and yes the scala plugin is already installed just in case if it is not installed you can always search for scala here and then install it from here so this is done and then i have to check the project structure and i have to check the project in the project libraries the scala sdk is added so again i will go to i will go to file and go to project structure and here i will go to global libraries and yes you can see the scala sdk is added here also when i go to my command prompt and say scala hyphen version this is the scala 2.13.7 which is added on my system and the same is here just in case if you want to delete or remove this you can click on this select and click on this minus sign or if you want to add a different sdk for scala you can always click on plus here and go to scala sdk and select the version and this will show you all which are available on your system so as of now i do not have to do that it is already added so i will just go to the next step now these are the steps uh, and we have our project and everything ready so these are the seven steps now step number eight is i will now create the package and i will give the package name same as i have given in my uh, group ID while creating the Maven project. You can also find that in your form.xml. So you can see this is the group ID I have given com.perf.tests. So I will go to my Scala folder and do a right click and say new and say package and I will say com.perf.tests. So I have created a new package here. Now I will create a Scala class and I will name it as basic simulation you can name it anything so because we need some uh, simulations or some test scripts to run before that if I show you uh, if I open the terminal so I will go to I can go to view and tools tool windows and say terminal or I can also press alt plus f12 on my keyboard to open the terminal window so this opens the terminal on the same project root folder now you can also go to a command prompt or a terminal separately outside the IDE and go to the project root folder and then run all the commands but because this IDE that is IntelliJ gives us this option to run the terminal within the IDE I am just using it so here if I run the command mvn clean and let us see what happens 
so this is working fine that means we can run the maven commands and with the help of the maven gatling maven plugin we have i can say mvn gatling and i can say uh, help and you can see it gives us all the options that i can use gatling verify gatling test gatling recorder so if i say gatling recorder it should open the gatling recorder so i'm saying mvn gatling recorder and yes you can see the gatling recorder is opened as of now i will close this i can say mvn gatling verify and it will verify everything and yes this is also working fine and for the running the tests if i again run mvn gatling help so you can see here for running the tests i need to run gatling test so i will say mvn gatling tests let me just clear this and here i will say mvn gatling test now as of now i do not have any test scripts so let us see what does it say so it is trying to check in our com.perf.tests folder and you can see here it says no simulations to run so that is because we do not have any simulations or any test scripts so for that i will do a right click on my com.perf.tests and i will say new and i will create a scala file or a scala class i am not getting the options uh, let me just go to my project folder and do a right click and say add framework support and i will add the framework support for scala and now i must get the option i will do a right click and say new yes we have a scala class here and i will name this as basic simulation and yes i have got this class created now i want to add the code to run a performance test for now i will just copy it from any of my earlier uh, tests or you can copy it from online as well uh, in my case i have got this i will go to my tools and here i have downloaded this gatling maven plugin demo this i have downloaded from github you can directly also go to i can, you can say gatling maven and plugin demo github and this will open the github page of this project and uh, it says to go here to use this for this particular project and here if i go to src test and go to scala and here if i go to computer database i have this basic simulation dot scala so i can just copy it from here as well or this is the same thing i'll just copy it from here so i will say i'll just copy this from here this entire class and go to my simulation class and just paste it here so this is done and save and check if you get any errors so as of now i do not see any errors make sure the package name is what you have do not copy the package name from here so you can see this is a different package name that's why i, I did not copy the package name but other things are as it is and you can see this is running a test on our computer database.gatling.io website and here this is the simulation script uh, let me make these pauses to a lower number otherwise it will keep on waiting and yes this is fine so as of now it is running with a single user load that is fine so we have just created the basic simulation class and we have copied the code now open command line and go to the location of the project folder which we have already done in our terminal and if you want you can do this on the command line separately as well so here i can go to the gatling demo project and i can run the commands from here as well as of now i am running within intellij terminal so now we will try these commands we have already seen mvn gatling help you may or may not add clean so you can directly say mvn gatling help mvn gatling verify mvn gatling recorder we have already seen now mvn gatling test is what we need to check if it runs our simulation so i will say mvn 
I will just say MV and clean and then say get link and colon test make sure that you have saved your project before running this command and let's just check I can also run it from here MVN clean get link test so you can see it is uh, as of now running so this looks like it will run and you can see it started our basic simulation and it is running and once it is done we will get the reports as well uh, here I think I will have to either first say MVN clean compile and then run it because it is maintaining the earlier session of the command prompt yeah now it should run from here as well and yes this is done and you can see we have got the result as well so this is our result file I can copy the location and go to my browser and check so this is our result uh, let me check again so here I'll copy this and yes this is the one uh, somehow I will try to go to my target folder and get link so the results get here here are my results this is my index.html file I will say I'll just go here I will say copy path reference and go to the location here and this is my index.html file and yes you can see we have got all the details here and everything is running fine now this is fine in case I have to run a specific simulation script in that case I can use the minus t option and say gatling.simulation class so here I will say I will say MVN Gatling test and I will say minus D and then I will say Gatling and then I will say dot simulation class C is in capital in class and then I will say equals and I will give the location of the class starting after the scalar folder so I will start from com.perf.tests and basic simulation so I will say here com.perf.tests dot the class name which is basic simulation and I will hit enter and yes it is running from here as well you can see the, it is running here the earlier command and let me say here what is the issue uh, I think it failed let us check the issue uh, it says unknown life cycle dot simulation class so I think I will have to add some quotes here so I'll add a quote here and after minus t all this I will put inside double quotes and now I will start again and let's just check this time so it has started execution and uh, these warnings are fine it should run our basic simulation and yes you can see it has started our basic simulation so if you want to run a specific test a specific simulation class you can always use the option minus t gatling dot simulation class equals to and give the package name and the class name and this will start after the scale up folder okay so this is running fine we have got our report file as well here now uh, so these are the commands these are the basic commands now sometimes you may want to run multiple simulations so in that case you have to say mvn gatling test let us say if we have multiple simulations I will say I will just copy this basic simulation class I will copy and paste it again in com.perf.tests package I will call this as basic simulation 2 and say ok so now we have two simulation scripts if I now go to the terminal and run the command mvn gatling test 
let us see what happens so I am running the same command mvn getlink test and this time I have more than one simulation classes in the package so here you can see it has failed and it says more than one simulation to run we need to specify either one or enable run multiple simulations so either we have to specify one by using the minus t gatling dot simulation class flag as we have seen in the earlier command or to run multiple we have to add this uh, we have to add this configuration and enable run multiple simulations so for that in our pom.xml we have to add this configuration run multiple simulation under the configuration tag and we have to make it as true and here we can say what packages to include and what packages to exclude and I can just copy this from if you search for Gatling Maven plugin and just search for run multiple simulations and it will take you to the official documentation of Gatling Maven plugin so this is the page and if I scroll down or just search for run multiple simulations you can see this configuration is here just copy this from here and in the pom.xml uh, let me close the terminal and I will also hide this sidebar by pressing alt and one on my keyboard so I will go to the pom.xml now in pom.xml here I have the plugins section and I already have this Gatling Maven plugin here so just before the end tag of plugin I will add this configuration so I will add it here like this and here we have made run multiple configurations true and now I will include the package so the package I want to include is com dot perf and you can see it is giving me auto suggestions as well dot tests and dot star so we can also use regular expressions or meta characters here that means all the classes everything under this folder and you can also use this if you want to run some specific classes under this package so you can always give the name and use these meta characters or regular expressions and if you want to exclude some particular packages or folders you can also add that here in the exclude tag here as of now we do not have any of these packages but let me uh, keep it as it is and check save your file and save your project and now I will open the terminal again by pressing alt f12 and now I will run the command again that is mvn gatling test and this time it should run both our simulations so let us just check it has started the command so it is now checking and this is fine and yes you can see it has started our basic simulation which is fine so after running this it should also run the basic simulation too so this is running fine until now and yes this is done and you can now see it will now start our basic simulation too so it is starting basic simulation too now and then it will also give us the report for basic simulation 2 as well and it is done and you can see we have got the report here and everything is fine so this is how you can run multiple simulations using the command and this is how we can run our gatling tests from command line i hope this was very useful for you if you have any questions any doubts you can always let me know and i will try to answer you as soon as i can I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.